Hello everyone, Plant Assassin here. So, my Lab Lab vine is starting to die back. It's getting cool enough. So I'm going to pull these pods off here. And when I do, we'll leave them out to dry on the table. So there's uh, air circulating around them. Then I should have some uh, beans to plant next year. Actually, I might have enough to try boiling some of these up. There's some uh, recipes I found online. If you're going to try to eat these, uh, the one thing to note, which if you look up any information about them, you'll see, is that they need to be boiled for longer than a than a regular bean. So there we go. I'm gonna go ahead and collect the rest of these. I've got several handfuls of them, but they sure uh, look nice and add color to the yard. Okay, so we got some of these laid out here. These have been drying. So some of the pods do not have um, viable seeds in them, so these will go in the compost pile. These are dried out. And what we get are these attractive beans. They're dark purple, almost a black, and they have a a white stripe down them, so we'll uh Go ahead and keep these. Uh, so what you'll want to do is put them in an envelope. And once they're dried out, just keep them dry until the spring. One thing I don't know, I don't know if these have any cold stratification needs. I suspect not, though, because they're more of a tropical um, plant. So, But... Now you go from this to these dried ones, and we'll uh, save these. Something of interest is that a few of these Lab Lab beans have uh, spots on them. I don't know if that's uh, some sort of genetic variation or if uh, I got some mold or maybe some bacteria or virus in the uh, seeds. So I'll save them. And I guess we'll see if they sprout next year. So, as always, you want to make sure you get the name. I always put the scientific name after it. And then any cultivar, if applicable and then the year you collected the seeds. So that way, when you uh, have a large accumulation of different seeds, you'll know what they are and how long ago you harvested them. Because one thing you do need to be aware of is that if you keep seeds for too long, the viability doesn't stay as good and your germination rates will go down. So and I'll just keep those here and I'll tuck them away in my seed bank. Plant Assassin, if you found this video useful and informative, please like and subscribe.